Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. In this video, I'm looking at Wix Online Store. Wix is a great website builder that I recommend. You could check out my other video where I do a walkthrough of the entire website builder. I didn't spend a lot of time in the online store uh, option in that video, but I'm gonna do that here in this separate video. So with Wix, you have to upgrade to the e-commerce version in order to get access to their uh, e-commerce, what they call online store. You can check out my other video on Wix pricing for more information about pricing at the different levels and what's included. So if you have access to a plan that has e-commerce, uh, you'll see this online store app here in, the, in your Wix account. So I'm gonna click on online store. So this window here is where you manage your online store. And right away, one of the things I don't love about it is that it's a small window within the larger window. So already you're working in a smaller area, which kind of shows you that there's not a huge focus on online selling with Wix. It's just one widget that's kind of built in to their uh, platform. So I'll go through this here just to give you an idea of what can be done here. It is full featured. It does allow you to do a lot with your selling of products. You can add products here. I have a bunch of sample products already added. So if I were to click on one, you'd see you can add a title, price, you can uh, add them to collections. You can add photos and videos for a product, uh, an overview and details, uh, a ribbon, which is like a design a feature basically that I'll show you later, and then a retail price, weight, and then there's some options for managing uh, inventory and variations like size and color, and then you can turn the visibility on and off for a product. If I go back to the online store manager, this is where you're gonna uh, manage and view your orders. You can set your payment method here and you see they integrate with some different payment processors like PayPal, Skrill, uh, Authorize.net. So this is where you'd link up your uh, payment processor. You can change your currency and your weight units that you're using. You can set up coupons and that would be a code that would give a, a percentage discount. So there's a few basic options for coupon discounts. Here's where you set your shipping options. There's a optional handling fee, and then you can basically set shipping uh, calculations by price or weight ranges using these shipping rules. And then there's some options for setting uh, a tax. So it's pretty basic e-commerce, not a lot of advanced features that you might find in like a full-blown e-commerce platform like Shopify or Volusion or BigCommerce. Some of those I've reviewed, so you can check those out in other videos on my channel. So once you're done with the store manager, you can always go back there to change your settings and add products. But once you're in your site editor, you can then click on add and you'll see the option to add uh, online store elements. So under this section, there's a product gallery, shopping cart, view cart, and add to cart button. So this online store isn't all integrated into the builder. It's integrated, but you still kind of have to build it out. So for example, if I go to a page, I already built out some of these pages. So I have a shopping page that I created. And it's not like there's automatically a catalog page of all your products, but you actually have to build it. So I went to a shop page, I created a shop page, and then I clicked on add, online store, and then product gallery. So that adds this little widget here, which is another product gallery. I can choose the collection, click OK. So now I have another project gallery. I'm gonna actually just delete that one because I already have two added. So I'll just click on this one that I already created and then show you real quick some of the options they give you. So you can choose the collection, you can click manage store, which is gonna take us back to that store manager. I can choose a layout, so you can click through some basic layouts that are just gonna remove or realign different elements in, these, uh, in the product grid. I can align the ribbon. So the ribbon I mentioned is just this little element here. Can change a bunch of uh, padding, and number of rows, margins, image crop. So you'll be able to make a lot of changes to the product gallery itself. Um, and here's another example of one that I created just using some different um, styling. And in typical Wix fashion, they give you tons of control over design elements. So I could click on this gallery and then I can click on gallery style, which is gonna give me all these different color options, corner sizes, and then borders. So you can really customize the overall look of the gallery. 
can also go back to the gallery options and click on style product page which is going to allow me to style the product little pop-up window that shows up so I can choose some different layouts here that have not loaded yet um, image mode spacing um, product social share options so lots of options to customize the product gallery and the product uh, page that pops up so if we go back to the online store widget options there's a shopping cart view cart and add to cart button so I can manually add an add to cart button to the screen and just select the product so you can use add to cart buttons manually throughout your site as as needed you don't necessarily have to use a product gallery I can add a view cart button which is gonna basically link to a page on my site where the cart was added using the shopping cart widget so you can see how you kinda have to piece things together and it's not gonna just work you have to have all these pieces put together correctly in order for the the process to work so I already created a page called cart and I added the shopping cart so this is the shopping cart widget see I have a bunch of extra buttons here that aren't needed so I can just delete those they're giving me some instructions here on uh, you know how to how to make it work um, using this cart button here so since I have this cart page created I need to go back to the shopping page and actually I can do it from anywhere I just wanted to show you that when you add the online store or add the view cart button from the online store uh, category you just need to make sure that you choose the cart page where your cart was added so in this case I would select cart click OK so that when people click this cart button it's gonna take them to that cart page so now if I go to my live website we can kinda see if it's all working I'll go to my shop page which is gonna load that page with the um, two product galleries on it so if I click a product should open one of those pages I can choose from different color variations click add to cart now it says there's two items in the cart so I should be able to click the cart button here and it takes me to my home page so something's broken there but I can go ahead and jump to the cart page and it takes me to that page I created you can see some of the alignments are off so I could probably fix that manually and then there's this checkout button here that uh, needs to be customized but if I click it, it should take me to that checkout page where my two products are added and then my visitors can uh, enter their information and continue to payment that's going to happen depending um, on the payment processor that I added in the uh, managed store interface so that's a quick overview of the Wix e-commerce option their online store you can tell just from me playing around with it there it's a little bit piecemealed you kind of have to make sure things are all set and even from spending some time putting it together I even missed a few steps that weren't entirely obvious so it's probably pretty easy to go back and figure out uh, what I did wrong but the, you got to create the shopping pages and the cart pages so it does give you a lot of flexibility but it requires a little bit more work to get everything working properly you probably would want to check out some of my other reviews on uh, like Shopify and big commerce just to get some comparison to other uh, more uh, full featured and dedicated e-commerce platforms but I think this Wix option is great for people who already have a Wix website and want to sell on their site or maybe you're already interested in Wix but you know you want to be selling products on your site so you want to see what your options are it's definitely workable but it'll take a little bit extra work to get everything functioning correctly so I hope that helped you out if you have any questions feel free to comment uh, subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and I'll see you on the next video